All right, Mitch, it's round two. Let's do this again. Another five minute post game show, courtesy of Post Game Pints. I'm Campbell. He's Gallo. Mitch, I'm going to start the clock right now. Let's go. Habs victorious 5 3 against the Winnipeg Jets in game one. Almost a perfectly executed game. We will get into those details if we can within the five minutes because we have to get to the big incident and right away. Jake Evans gets smoked by Mark Shifley as he scores an empty net goal. And that was dirty, Mitch. I'll let you go. I'll let you go first. Oh, well, Sean, it's, it's tough to watch. Uh, you know, you, you feel sick to your stomach when you see a player laying on the ice unconscious. And unfortunately, covering hockey for as long as I have, I've just seen these things happen too many times. However, I've seen it happen because of an accidental play. I've seen it happen because a hockey play has gone wrong and I've seen it happen because a player is filthy. And in this case, I think the player is filthy. He starts skating in front of the opposite goal of where he makes the hit on Jake Evans. He is going as fast as he can and he jumps into a player's head. To me, if I'm the NHL, I don't want the image of that body check and a player laying unconscious for a quite a while being played on every television station in North America. That's not the image I want, especially with a deal now with ESPN. I hate that hit, Sean. I think he's trying to hurt somebody. It's at the end of the game. He was aggravated all game long, and he made a stupid play. There's a, there's a term, in, in, in intent to injure. And that's what it was. It was intent to injure. That's the term that you use. You could talk, say headshot. You could say charge. You could say whatever you want about the hit, bitch. That was an intent to hurt somebody. That's the only reason. Was it to prevent a goal? No. If you want to prevent the goal, you are going to go after the puck. He didn't even look at the puck. And I understand you could say a shoulder to chest. It doesn't matter. None of that glazed the head. It does not matter. Mark Shifley tried to hurt Jake Evans. So the next question, Mitch, it's only a five minute post game show. How many games for Mark Shifley? Give by me how way, many, how many you would and how many the NHL will. By the way, I'm not even going to say uh, that he tried to hurt Jake Evans. He hurt Jake Evans. Yeah. He hurt him sorry. badly. But the point is no, 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 did, because, because of the name of the rule. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Intent uh, to injure. How many games? I don't know. Sean, I don't know. The NHL isn't consistent. They always pick numbers out of a hat. At least that's the way it seems to me. I think you have to suspend him for the series. This is my opinion. I have no idea if the NHL shares that opinion or not. Uh, I, I think it would be idiotic if they went five. I think you have to go six or say the series. Uh, you, if you give it a number with the possibility of him coming back, you're asking for trouble. Vigilante justice is going to jump uh, right in there. But if the NHL looks at that and they think it's an okay hit or there wasn't that bad, he's only gone for one or two. So I think that that's the gap that we're playing with. I think we're talking series or one or two. I honestly think that that is the, the, the spectrum of how people look at it. Cause I am with you. I don't know. Okay, we have 90 seconds, Mitch. If it's one or two, by the way, there's going to be a lot of angry people in Montreal. A hundred percent. There already are angry. They, if there's six, there's already angry people. I'm telling you that. All right. Uh, we have now the 70 seconds left here on these uh, post-game finals. Quickly, cock the Emmy goal. What a pass by Petrie. <laughs> Slap pass. Got to love to see it. And, you know, Petrie was pretty quiet offensively in the first series, but he comes up with two assists in uh, the first game of the second round. The old man do it again. Petrie to stall. Oh, man. And Petrie, uh, sorry, not Petrie, Perry to stall. And Perry took a little bit of an elbow there from Logan Stanley. I didn't really have a problem with the, the elbow from Logan Stanley, to be honest with you. I know some people did. Uh, Corey Perry, though, that's what he does. He gets to that tough area, and he's not afraid to take a hit to make a play. Nick Suzuki with possibly the goal of the playoffs. What a beautiful goal. When I see that. That's what I think that Nick Suzuki is going to be the greatest player the Montreal Canadiens will have over the next decade. Yeah, throwing that patience to get around Hellebuck and tuck it in. I still have to give honorable mentions to a Paul Byron in round one and also a Nathan McKinnon with the uh, video game-like speed going around Nick Haig in game one of the uh, West, uh, West Series. 
15 seconds. Shea Weber had a breakaway. Gallagher scores a dirty goal, but I'm giving you eight seconds to talk about Joel Edmondson. Joel Edmondson, it was one of his best games as a Montreal Canadian, if not his best. And uh, I think he is maybe the most underrated pickup for the Canadians this offseason. That's it for us here on the five minute post game show, courtesy of Post Game Pints, Campbell Gallo. We're going to do this after every single game. That's game one. Game two is Friday night. We'll post it right away. I encourage you to check it out YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that stuff. Absolutely uh, jump on board. It's time to have our little pints. Cheers from LeBrosse.